a successful launch. What are the challenges for the next three or four weeks, sir, till August 23rd, which is a tentative? You heard sir. already. You heard already what is going to happen further. Yeah. We are going to raise orbit from now to transmolar injection condition, and that will happen over some four burn sequences, which will be very timed and controlled. And if everything goes well, on 1st of August, we will be leaving, leaving, leaving Earth and going towards Moon. It's called transmolar injection. Hmm. After that, it cannot come back. Then it will start a journey towards Moon. And uh, that is the first step. After that, it will be it will travel another four days to reach moon. Then it will be captured on the moon by an appropriate firing. If you mm. don't fire that correct time, it will escape moon also. Yes. Yeah. So then uh, we will be reducing orbit in the next three, four burns to bring it up to 100 kilometer. Mm. And everything goes well, then we will be able to land on 30, 23rd or 24th August on the moon. Sir, the other aspect here is a uh, lot of people are curious to know why ISRO has uh, chosen this spot for soft landing, the one that you've tentatively chosen. See, it, it goes with many things. One, it has a spot where there is still illumination. There are still adjacent zones which are non-illuminated. Okay. So both are there. So if you want to do scientific experiments, you can go to the unilluminated zone and do some mineral studies. Mm -hmm. And an illuminated zone is suitable for solar power generation so that our craft can live for at least 15 days. Mm -hmm. So this is the interest. So it is not clo close to the pole, but slightly ne near to the pole to give some scientific value. Mm -hmm. So I know you don't want to digress to any other project, but how important is this mission for Gaganyan and other missions? Sir, you spoke about the launch vehicle and the capacity and the kind of features of it that will help you in Gaganyan. See, we are using LVM3 for uh, all these missions and systematically operating it to reach the Gaganyan goal. Mm -hmm. See, you would have seen the last three launches were successful. Uh, though they were not part of the Gaganyan program, we have inducted many, many features which are part of the Gaganyan program so as to give edge to that mission. So that one, ultimately, when you go to Gaganyan, we don't have to have an uncertain rocket. Okay. That's Sir, final question. On the, shape, on the shape equipment that you put there, uh, people want to know uh, what's the idea behind uh, some equipment on a moon orbit looking at Earth. Because See, all your other payloads, payloads are on the surface of the moon. If you yeah. are to measure study Earth, you can very well study here. Yeah. You don't have to go to moon. Yeah. But we are not looking at like that. We are hmm. looking at, suppose somebody looks at another planet. Hmm. What is the type of a global st structure of the radiation that you are receiving? Hmm. From this, can you make a signature? So okay. we are looking at a global signature that can distinguish between a living planet and a non-living planet. Okay.